Well, it's time to start the next video. In this video, we're going to install, try to install, the uh, counterbalance shaft and counterbalance shaft bearings. Um, installing counterbalance shafts is not a big deal. The bearings, however, can be a little tricky. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Down in that hole right there is one counterbalance bearing. And if you'll notice, there's a tube. I don't know if I can do this. I'm not sure if I can show you very well or not. There we go. There's a tube that runs into the counterbalance bearing area here. See that tube? That is the oil supply hole. Um, and then this is the rear oil drain for that bearing and then the front oil drain down into the into the block here and uh, the front oil just oozes out the out the bearing into the block so for alignments purposes we need to know where that incoming oil point is uh, so that we be sure and get oil feed uh, clear oil feed onto that bearing surface and then that's the rear one which is a small one and the front is a much larger size bearing excuse me much much larger size bearing right in this hole these are the two thrust plate bolts, one there and one right there. And then if you look all the way through, uh, you can see all the way through the block. This is where the counter counterbalance bearing, counterbalance shaft runs. So there you have it. Here's the uh, where the bearing will be installed on the front. And then back in the back, the bearing on the back uh, goes in there. So how do you do this um, if you're familiar with installing camshaft bearings? It's basically the same procedure. Um, in this case, it's a little tricky. Um, this will be my second set of bearings to try to install. These bearings are extremely tight compared to any uh, camshaft bearing I've ever installed. And so we've had a little bit of challenge on the first ones, but I think we got that resolved. Right now, the rear bearing, the small one in the back, is uh, in the freezer um, on the installation tool. And everything's getting nice and cold don't know if it makes a big difference but uh, the colder it is the smaller it is uh, the material the steel uh, contracts slightly so every little bit's going to help because these things are wonderfully tight so we're going to go get it out of the freezer and we're going to try to install that rear bearing wish us luck i'll put you on the camera and you can watch this procedure I apologize in advance, this is not going to be easy to see, but I'll show you what I can. Um, here's the camshaft installer tool. On that camshaft installer tool is the uh, rear counter-rotating balance shaft bearing. This is this one right here. And notice there's a hole in there. That hole, oh, let me grab a wrench. That hole is uh, to align with that oil port, and that's what we've got to work on. Work on getting in place correctly according to that oil galley that's on there. So we're going to get this get this thing down on here all the way, and then we're going to tighten up this this nut, and this will hopefully. Secure us well enough to drive this bearing in place. So I'm gonna have to get a little something to hold this. Of course, the problem here is this, this whole time this thing is warming up, expanding, and I don't have room in the freezer for the entire thing all mounted together. So just do what you can. Got to get this thing nice and snug on here, or it absolutely will cause you grief. Done that recently. All right. So I think we're on there snug. Sorry, you're not seeing a lot. I'm going to go ahead and feed this now through the balance galley here. And I'm going to feed this into the opposite end. Sorry, you're not seeing a lot. Get my light. Line this hole up. Hole in the bearing has to align with the hole in the oil galley. Or 
bearing doesn't oil. I think we're pretty good right there. So I'm going to begin to drive on the opposite end. I'm going to recheck my alignment. It has started. I'm okay with the alignment. Start driving it home. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, this is a lot of... It's a chore to get on camera. I apologize. I'm not going to have a great view, but all I can do. Let's stop and take a look at the distance. Okay. We should be getting pretty close right now. Let me tap a time or two more. I think we're pretty close. Alright. Now let's see if we can take this Loosen the nut on the camshaft bearing installation tool. It's just down here at the bottom of the block right now. I think we got this bearing in. Feeling pretty good. Let's see what the alignment looks like when we get it out of here. Lift it out of here careful. Pull it out of here careful. You don't want to tear up that new bearing surface. So, let me change your view. Alright, well hopefully this view is a bit better. I know right now it's a limited view, but you can see the bearing down in there. I'm going to go ahead and take you down in there where you can see it real good. There you go. What I need to do now is rotate the block and check and see if I've got alignment with the oil hole, uh, both rotationally and in, on the in and out distance direction there. So. Let's rotate this block and check it out. Okay, well, I'm going to do my best to get a shot from this angle. Uh, I've got the light up in the block, trying to illuminate this bearing surface. Uh, the whole alignment's pretty good. I'm happy with it. We'll get good oiling of the bearing, both on the uh, in and out and on rotational alignment. Good with it. So, uh, that bearing's installed. No fun. It's a real chore. You got one shot to get it right. And uh, this is my second shot. And I think it's right. So, happy with that. Now there is a, I call it a cam galley plug, but I guess it would be a, a counterbalance shaft galley plug uh, that goes in here. Looks like a freeze plug, basically. So, we'll install that uh, once we get the uh, counter-rotating ballast shaft in there. Um, this is uh, it's not an easy motor to rebuild I think this is about the trickiest part uh, these silly bearings so we're going to stick the front bearing in the freezer now um, on the collet that goes on the camshaft driving tool and we're going to give it a go uh, once we get it down to sub-zero temperatures so we'll get back with you in just a minute alright well we're getting ready to put in this front bearing um, Kind of got you at a bit of a distance, but I want to see more of the overall process, maybe. But uh, here's the bearing surface. Get the block upside down. So here is the counter-rotating balance shaft bearing surface, front bearing. And so we're going to go get the bearing and the installer tool out of the freezer. Install it under our pipe, under our handle, and start putting that bearing in place. Okay, so we have the the collet and the bearing right here and we're going to spin this little guy onto the handle one thing like before we still have to align this hole uh, up here in the top of the bearing you can see that there's a hole there on top of the bearing we have some marks on the split in this collet right here that's going to be our point of reference when we do the alignment on the block Begin to tighten this thing up. It's going to get snug initially, so we know that's not going to move. And then we got to really get tightened up. With it. All this while hooking the bearing. The bearing doesn't thaw too much.
seem to get this the way I want it to be. Otherwise, I can't afford to mess this up again. Otherwise, I'm another four days ordering bearings again. So we got to get it right. Uh, see the hole? The alignment of the oil galley hole is here. We just need to make sure that we get that aligned. Get our dead little hammer. See if we can get this thing started. So much yet. Thing is a real booger. I think we're going now. Oh yeah. Bit, bit of ways to go still. Now we're close. I think we're good. Let's see if we can take this back apart. socket now. There we go. That makes more sense. Okay. Well, bearing looks good. Flip the mud here real quick. We can get a little better picture or image. I can't of where the uh, oil hole is relative to the hole in the bearing. And we're looking good. So that bearing is installed. 
These bearings have been an absolute nightmare. Be smart. Make sure you have the right tooling. Cool them and freeze them. And uh, you know, just do everything you reasonably can to make life as simple as possible. Um, pretty tickled. Probably gonna dry fit the. Got a rotating ballot shaft here in just a minute. Um, we're pretty much ready to go back together with this short block now. That was the hardest part, I think. Once we uh, once we get or at this point, we're going to clean the block up really good. Because it's collected a bit of dust, debris, things like that. So we're going to give it a good a good wash down. Um, there is a special tool, by the way, for installing the counter-rotating ballot shaft. If you're in the midst of an overhaul, actually quite simple. Just put your hand down here into the block and guide this little devil into your bearings. Um, and I'm just kind of in general looking to make sure uh, that's right. The rear bearings engaged, forward bearings engaged. And uh, so, pretty happy now that that's going to be not much of a problem of any. I do need to rotate that thrust plate, but we'll get to that in a second. So, in general, I'm tickled. We're going to start to uh, clamp the block again real good to get the dirt, debris dust, things like that off of it. And then move forward, installing the shaft and installing the crank and bed plate. So. We're going to kill this video, cut this video here. We'll initiate the next video with actually physically bolting in the counter rotating down shaft and then moving forward on the rest of the block. It's getting better, we hope. We hope.